calls. My name is Gary. Will this be a carry out, delivery, or a plan ahead order? Do you know? Do you want to know what happens when society pushes a mentally ill loner to the brink of destruction? Thanks for calling, Baba Joe. What's up guys, it's Squillis Billis here. We got the Diet Coke and we got some Mentos. The Chicago nigga! We all have times in our life when we're weak, when we reject God's grace and stray from his light, where we can hear our higher self calling out for our soul, but we reject it. And we instead turn to our base nature. And it's in these moments where we make decisions we may regret for the rest of our life. Today I'm going to be reading some confessions that you have sent me. Not to offer guidance or help of any kind, but to shame and make fun of you. Because that's what you deserve. You'll see after you read these, that's what these people deserve. And maybe it will encourage self-reflection. Because you need to look in the mirror and face yourself to really understand what you've done. From Mike. I once broke into a lady house once when I was 15. She wasn't home and whiffed one of her panties. I almost tickled my pickled, but then my humanity came back. I left. This is the first one I've read today. This is the kind of thing we're dealing with. But from the ones I've read so far, this isn't uh, that bad. Which is saying a lot because not only are you a sick bastard, but you're also uh, breaking and entering into a lady's house. So is this a random woman? Is this just, you know, someone you're vaguely acquainted with? You know, there's a lady that lives there. And the whole whiffing panties thing, I never understood it. You know, you could be horny, but I don't want to get too deep, but uh, I do think you have to be a pretty strange critter when you have access to the internet and you know you can look up naked ladies at any time to break into someone's house just to sniff their panties at the, in this day and age. I mean, what's your excuse? Like you went out of your way to do that shit. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10 on the uh, down bad scale. Uh, jerked the ween in car back seat on a road trip with family. I don't know where the nut went. I'm sorry. I don't know if an apology is going to cut cut it, Rory. And I'm not even, I, I've heard about the whole backseat road trip thing. That's not entirely uncommon, shockingly. I've heard about this before from real life and on the internet. But I don't know where the nut went is something that's really, um, it's really making me uncomfortable. What do you mean by that? It just came out of your wiener. You're in the backseat of a car. I, if you were jacking off in the, you know, Arctic tundra, I could see how you could lose your nut. It could get lost in the snow or whatever. But you're, I mean, what, what, what the f By the way, if you notice this spiffy little shirt I'm wearing, it's my brand that I'm making, bitch. It's that 100% organic cotton hoe. Very limited supply, heifer. Go down in the description and buy it with your money. I got this brand up off the ground with the homie Atticus. He has a brand of his own called Dart. Go follow it. If you shoot him a DM, you'll get a discount, little mama. All right, now back to this degenerate ass video. When I was 13, I jacked off 11 times in one day. I also spent 700 bucks on prawn in a month. 11 times is just unsanitary and frankly abhorrent. I don't see how you could even do that unless you were like really trying to go to hell because it's not even fun after like three times in one day. You really start losing steam at that point. Kind of just dust, you're kind of just shooting dust. And $700, anytime you spend money 
they're like, there's already so much free stuff. And I don't want to be this guy, but those $700, you could have, you know, given it to charity. You could have probably saved someone's life with those $700. And instead, what did you do? What did you do instead? I e-dated a Discord femboy for six, seven months, and it made me turn into one for that period of time too. Some crazy shit happened, and I nearly <laughs> myself when he left. Don't laugh, please. <laughs> I'm all good now, though. This happened like two years ago, so I've improved. Yeah, I mean, this is Generation Z. These are the future doctors, lawyers, construction workers. Everything's gonna work out. Don't worry about it. This is like an uh, eight. Dragon Marbles, waiting for the guys to pick up Mac D's, was tired and went to bed, passed out with dick in hand. Rest is history. What the f are you talking about, man? This is really not cool, you leaving it so ambiguous. I don't know. Rest is history. What the f do you mean? <laughs> What happened, bro? <laughs> also, how the fuck do you pass out with your dick in your hand? That's never happened. I won't... Uh, I don't even know what to rate this. It's so cryptic. I, I don't know what happened. It's a question mark out of 10. No name. When I was 13, I was so desperate that I busted to a picture of my grandma's sister who passed away. Okay. I don't know if I could do this shit. I don't know if I could uh, hand, I don't think I can fucking do it. Sometimes the pain is just too much to bear. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Whatever happened to my childlike joy and innocence, now I've been reduced to nothing more than a beast. And not like in a cool way, not like he's a beast, not like Mr. Beast, but like a, a unsanitary animal. This is a message to all the people out there. You can skip it if you want, but I just wanted to attempt to add something thought-provoking to this video. Reading these confessions made me aware of a truth that human sexuality is shameful and disgusting. This is an objective ethical claim. And you can disagree with me, that's fine, you can suit yourself, but I'm not gonna act like I'm above any of these people who sent in confessions. Maybe, you know, a lot of us haven't done stuff quite as wild as what's been said, but we all have things. And this tells us our, our nature is gross. So I'm telling you right now, it is important that you become aware of this nature and work against it. Because you are not a dog. You are not a rabbit in heat. You are a man. Your well-being will be largely determined by your ability to reject this base nature and instead turn to something higher. Enjoy the rest of the video. Like, share, and subscribe. At the time, I was so terrified of my parents using the internet provider to see that I was watching The Hub that I would look at any pictures of women that we had around the house in order to fulfill my needs. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, I can only hope that this isn't real, but I feel like it is. The Just the tone of the message indicates to me that this is legitimate. Any pictures of women around the house? That's just gonna be your family, bro. You're just whacking off to framed family photos, you freaky fuck. She passed away. She's dead, bro. Have you no respect? Imagine she was looking down from heaven watching you do that shit. <laughs> that has to be a 9 out of 10 on the scale. That's atrocious. Bob Baltimore. Dog, I'ma keep it real. One time when I was 17, I started dating a 35-year-old divorced white woman. She liked me flirting with other women and she would have sex and then eat wing stop naked in her house. <laughs> she was like a 4 out of 10 but had a tongue piercing that made my pee pee go boing. I don't know, that's actually kind of cool. Loki, you're kind of just flexing right now.
Reading a lot of anime corn, then using olive oil as lube. What are you, an ancient grease? I can't think of a situation where you don't have access to lotion. Why are you going out of your way to make it disgusting? It's not, that's not even it. Oh my god. Then one time, when I was a big coomer, I gurped my bushlungus laying on my homie's bed when he went to work. <sighs> Busted on my shirt on accident, then switched to one of his shirts. He's pretty much my closest friend, so I saw him wearing the same shirt with the same nut stain I put on it. But I didn't have the heart to tell him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're down bad. You're whacking it in places that should never be whacked in. But you're also just like sloppy and uncoordinated. Fucking clumsy and gross. You're laying down, whacking off with a shirt on. What do you think is going to happen? Where do you think it's going to go? You know, even back in the days where I was a little goblin, you always, if you're going to lay down, you take your shirt off. It's just common sense. Like, not only are you horny, you're just a fucking idiot. Why? Doing it with olive oil? Why? <laughs> what it like, I don't know what your deal is. Kent wanted to lose my virginity, end up getting pegged and never got to f <laughs> Okay, she hit you with the Uno reverse card. Like, do you have no self-respect or like authority as a man? Can't you just tell a bitch no? It's unbelievable. Gooned with a number two pencil in language arts class in fifth grade. What the f- I hate it so much. What the fuck are you talking about? How do you goon with a pencil? I once peed inside my shower with dirty socks to get an arch pick from a random girl on Snapchat. Then I proceeded to use the pee pee and rub it. Oh my god, I, don't, I just can't, I don't, I can't. Uh, rub it on my schlong since she had asked for that. If anyone found out I did that, I would actually jump off a bridge. Okay, I mean, after contemplating this for like a couple minutes, an arch pick, so that means she's like arching her back. So basically, it's just like this psycho random hoe on the internet telling you to do all these like, like fucking weird rituals. So she'll send you more pictures and you're going along with it. <laughs> this random girl on Snapchat is directing you to violate yourself and you're just OK. No nut November last year. It was week two and I was doing fine until one day it was bad. Watching some hoes on YouTube, just working out, laying on my bedroom floor with a boner. Not even touching my little Peter, just sort of wiggling around like a caterpillar on my carpet, thinking I created some loophole to spanking. The mental image that this conjures up is making me consider self-harm. Why would you think you found a loophole to spanking? You're just humiliating yourself. <laughs> Crush had just got out of gym, we were in the same class, we had lunch next, bell rang and everyone started leaving. I faked like I was asleep so I could be the last to leave. Everyone left and immediately started sniffing her seat for a solid three to five minutes before leaving. <laughs> I was microsomes away from out white licking the seat, but I stopped myself because I'm a disciplined man. No the fuck you're not. I was sniffing the seat, I thought that was just a meme. People really do that shit. Josh. Addiction was so bad that I found myself looking up uh, I found myself looking up child models on Google. I wasn't even attracted to them, but it was so messed up that I got off on the idea alone. Your first name better not actually be Josh. You know Google can like track these messages, right? <laughs> they have the data. Your ass is going to jail. The big dog. I used to take pics from girls' IGs and then photoshop them to be nude and then beat to that. You know what? I actually kind of appreciate the ingenuity and the craftsmanship that goes into this. You're putting some elbow grease into it, so you really have to earn that nut. That's like a 5 out of 10. My most horny moment is letting a guy suck my meat. Oh, God. oh my. Okay, just read it. Just read it. It was actually really good and kind of messed my brain up because I nutted super hard in this old black guy's throat. Dude, I can't my mind he was like 50 and i was 19 i got on grinder and it was easy to get sucked up in that app guys literally love to suck 
I'm not gay. I just wanted head. No, bro. You're you shouldn't try to convince me you're not gay. This is this would be way this is way worse if you are straight. You're that horny. You can't just control yourself or fucking do something else. Do something productive with your life. You got to you got to get ahead by any means necessary. Bro, just say you're gay at this point. That's a better that's just, that's better optics. This this is probably a 10 on the on the down bad scale. You have to be down atrocious to do this. Nutting on my sister while she was asleep. Oh my god. Okay, I quit. I can't do this anymore. I can't take it. I just I'm done. <laughs>